Yes. Now we'll discuss about the energy of the scapula. Here you can see this is scapula. This is anterior view, this is posterior view of this scapula. First of all, we'll make a diagram of this scapula. This is glenoid cavity, this is glenoid cavity of the scapula. This is lateral border. This is fora quite posterior of the scapula. And here is suprascapular notch. This is superior border. Acromion process. This is anterior view and this is posterior view. Here is posterior view. This is a chromium process. This is lunar cavity and it is lateral border of this camera. This is this, this is posterior. And this is superior view. Here is superior view. This is superior view of this scapula here. This scapula has two surfaces. This is anterior surface, this is posterior surface. This is anterior surface, this is posterior surface. This anterior surface has a concavity. This is concavity. This is known as costal surface. And this posterior surface, this is posterior surface, this, this is convex and this surface is divided by this spinous process, this is spinous process into supraspinous and spinous fossa. This fossa is supraspinous. Fossa. And this fossa is infraspinous. Infra is pinnacus fossa. And this is spine. This is spine is also the spine of the scapula. And it has two surfaces and it has three borders. Here, this border is from infrared tubercle. To inferior angle. This, this is lateral border, this is thickest border, this border is thickest border, this is lateral border. It has lateral border, this border is medial border, this border is medial border, this is medial border, and here is this is superior border. The superior border is very thick and 
very smart. He will compare them to other bodies. And his jubilee bottom there is a notch. This is supra scapular notch. This notch is supra scapular notch. And this notch is bridged by a ligament. This is supra scapular ligament. And a nerve. This is supra scapular nerve passes through this foramen. This notch is converted to foramen by the suprascapular ligament. This suprascapular ligament this is converted to foramen. And through this foramen, supraspinatus nerve is passing. And above this ligament, supraspinatus artery and vein is passing. So this is superior border, this is medial border, extended from superior angle to inferior angle. This is lateral border, this is thickest border. And it has three angles. This is superior angle, this is inferior angle, between lateral and medial border, and this is lateral angle. Here is lateral angle, lateral angle is broadened. This is broadened, expanded, and forms glenoid cavity. So lateral angle forms glenoid cavity. It is a tubercle. This is infra tubercle. This is infra glenoid tubercle. And here is supra glenoid tubercle. This is supra glenoid tubercle. And it has three processes. This process is a quite process. This process is poracoid process. This is poracoid process. And here is acromion process. This is acromion process. This is acromion process. This is poracoid process. And another process, here you can see, this is triangular process. From here, this is lateral border, this is anterior border, this is posterior border, this is triangular shape, spinous process. So from here, this is spinous process. This is spinous process. And this posterior border of the spinous process from the crest. So this is crest of the spine. So this is crest of the spine, this posterior border from crest of the spine and it has two lips. It has upper lip and this is lower lip. It has upper lip and this is lower lip. It has three borders. This is lateral border, this is anterior border and this is posterior border. So this process here is lateral, this is anterior, this is posterior and posterior border has lip, upper lip, lower lip and it forms crest of the spine. So this is crest of the spine. So these are three processes. Now, attachments. Before that, the side determination. For the side determination, three things are important. One thing, this lateral angle is from the glenoid cavity. It lies on the lateral side. This spinous process lies on dorsal side which is convex and it divides dorsal surface into supraspinatus and infraspinatus posa and lateral border, lateral border is thickest border, it lies laterally, inferior angle lies inferiorly. So these are the some points, uh, by keeping in mind these points you can determine the side of this bone. Now attachments, here you can see here is attachment of This subscapularis. This is origin of subscapularis muscle. Here is the origin of two muscles, short head of the biceps. Here is the short head of the biceps, biceps, brachii, 
and Poreco Bakeries and the machine is Poreco Bakeries here is Supran United Development from here the long head of the biceps takes to this long head of the biceps here is long inferior right to the is long head of the triceps such attached here and here along the margin of the right cavity catch two of the shoulder joint is attached and This articular disc is attached here. That is glenoid labrum. Glenoid labrum. And the thing, now uh, insertion of the muscles. Here you can see from superior border to inferior border. This is insertion of the Syriacus anterior, Syriacus anterior muscle. It has eight sheets, one sheet attached here, and two from here to here. There are two sheets and five sheets here. Five sheets of the Syriacus anterior attached here. Along the medial border. So these structures and another structure here. This is pectoris minor. This is pectoris minor attached here. And here is deltoid. Deltoid attached. In this diagram, this is anterior view or posterior view. The posterior view, the supraspinatus mosa, gives origin of the supraspinatus muscle. Here, supraspinatus muscle takes origin. And here, the infraspinatus mosa. This is infraspinatus muscle takes origin, and here this is teres minor. This is teres minor muscle takes origin, and between these two attachments, there is the circumflex scapular artery. This is circumflex. Scapular artery. This is circumflex scapular artery. And here is tennis major. Lower part this is tennis major. From here to here, this is tennis major. And here, latissimus dorsi is Latissimus. That is the dorsal attached. It is on the inferior end here. And muscles which are inserted here. Here is this is levator scapula. This is levator scapula. Here is rhomboidus minor. Rhomboidus minor. Here is Rambodius major. So this is Rambodius. Major. He is trapezius. This muscle is trapezius. This is trapezius. This is trapezius. And here is deltoid. This is this muscle is deltoid. So this is deltoid attached here. In this diagram, we have detroit attached here and trapezius is attached here. This is trapezius. And another thing, here is, you can see uh, this is supraspinatus muscle. This muscle is here, supraspinatus muscle. This is superior view, like this. Here, supraspinatus muscle is attached, and here is it. This is suprascapular notch, and this notch is bridged by suprascapular ligament, 
and suppress the blood artery passes superior superior to superficial to this uh, above to this ligament artery and vein passes above to this ligament and nerve passes deep to this ligament so this is nerve and this nerve and artery both passes through here is one ligament this notch is spinal glenoid notch this is spinal glenoid notch and this artery suprascapular nerve vein nerve vein and artery all three structures three structures passes through this notch and this notch is bridged by spinal spinal glenoid ligament this is spinal glenoid ligament this is spinal glenoid ligament this is spinal glenoid notch by ligament is converted to forearm so here you can see this nerve lies below this ligament and artery and vein lies above this ligament and here all three structures passes deep to this ligament and the ligaments here you can see this is joint here is Coraico clavicular joint is coraico clavicular ligament. Ligament and capsule of the joint. Here is capsule of the shoulder joint, glenoid labrum. Yes. Lung of biceps, lung of biceps, start of the biceps, and coracobacteries. And the ligament. This ligament is lies here. This is this ligament. This is the spinal glenoid ligament. And through this ligament, nerve, artery, and vein passes. Deep to this ligament through this opening. So, and the ligament is lies here. Here is coraco clavicular ligament. Sorry, this ligament is acromioclavicular ligament. Sorry, this ligament is acromioclavicular ligament. Acromio Clavicular ligament and here is coraco clavicular ligament. This is coraco clavicular ligament. Coraco clavicular ligament. It has two parts: conoid part, conoid part, and trapezoid part. This is trapezoid part and this is conoid part of this ligament. And the ligament is here. Coraco humeral ligament. This is coraco humeral ligament. Coraco humeral ligament. These are several ligaments and muscle which attach uh, with the scapula. Now we will discuss about the ossification. The scapula ossify from one primary center and still on secondary center. The so one primary center appears to be the carbon dioxide line. There is first center that is primary center which appears during the eight week of interaction life in the degree activity and next here appears secondary, uh, secondary center appear during first year in the coracoid process it fuse in 50 meter at the root there is another process here which appears in 10 year of age and fuse between 16 to 18 years of the age. There are two centers for the coracoid acronym process 
and one center for the here lower two third part of the margin of the nerve cavity. So one center lies here. One center appears here. If we angle, so these are the two center, two to four, five, six, and seven. Seven center appears here. From superior angle to from the inferior part. So these are the seven secondary centers. These second secondary centers, except these two, appear during puberty. And fuse around the different areas of the line. So this is all about the scapula. Thank you.